Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about tuples. And a tuple is pretty much the exact same thing as a list, except for uh, a big major difference. And that is that a tuple is immutable, which means that we cannot change the content within a tuple. Once you write it and you hit the enter button, it's in your computer. The thing is, is we can manipulate it with slices and things like that, multiplying it. But what we're doing is we're making a copy of it. We're not actually changing the content of that original tuple we made. So it's a little bit less efficient than a list, which is mutable, which means we can change what's inside of it. But let me show you how to create some. So I'm just going to call it things equals. And the way that your computer can differentiate between a list and a tuple is tuple has parentheses, where a list had square brackets. So I'm just going to put some stuff in here, say cars, um, computers, dog, room, whoops, room like that. Alright, so now it's in our memory. We can print it out if we want to. And the backbone of this data structure is an array, so we can index things. So let's say things, and I wanted to print out computers, we would just say one. All right, and we can also do that negative number indexing thing or we can index backwards. So remember, the last thing would be negative 1 and so on, negative 2, negative 3. So if I wanted to print out computers again with the negative numbers, we could just say negative 3. We get computers. Uh, we can get the length of things. So let's say len and put in things right here. We got 4 and we can slice this so things let's just say I want the first two things so 0 to 2 and cars and computers let's say I wanted everything after at the second uh, index and after that so let's say 2 colon and I can leave that empty and that means that I want to go all the way to the end of this tuple so we got dog and room Alright, and let's see what else we can do. We can multiply it a couple times if we wanted to. Just to be simple to show the point, I'll just multiply it twice. So we get cars, computers, dog, room, and then we get it again. Alright, and we can concatenate also. So let me think of some names. One equals, I'll be real quick with this. Let's just say Mike. And I'll put in John. Alright, and let's say names. Two equals... Joe and Billy. If I want to concatenate those together, I'll create a names three and I'll equal names one plus names two. And then I just have to print out names three. And there we go Mike, John, Joe, Billy. So each of these is a new tuple. It's just copying another one, even though I am changing the name a little bit so it should automatically know that it's a new tuple but that's the basic idea behind a tuple so remember a tuple and a list are pretty much identical you can do almost all the same things except for your computer knows that you're using a tuple when you use these parentheses to store stuff inside of it and a list uses the square brackets and also a tuple is immutable so those are the things I need you to take away from this tutorial and if you like it please subscribe below and join me in the next one. Thank you guys.